Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's to Roll. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel for that. I'm always grateful. Thank you so much. I am going to do a Pisces Rainbow Love Prediction reading for July 10th to July 16th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know this energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled. I'm always honored and very grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Let's see what's going on with my empathetic, kind, sweet, loving, fun Pisces. Show me spirit, guys. What's going on with my Pisces? Show me spirit, guys. What you got going on, Pisces? Let's see. The sun. The empress. King of wands. Ten of Swords, and a Six of Swords. Ugh. Well, what's going on, Pisces? What's going on? Well, the sun is, is, it begins your reading. The sun um, is at the beginning of your reading. And the sun is all about happiness and, and love and kindness and having a good time and feeling good together. I mean, the whole nine yards, this, this, this is a, that's what the sun is about. But there's something here that got all messed up. And I'm going to be very honest with you. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you uh, what I think here. I'm not just going to tell you what intuitively what I see. The sun card, you are very, very, very happy with this person. Rainbows, unicorns, and that's my just my definition of people when I talk about the sun. You just saw nothing but goodness in this person. When you and this person were together, it was just always on point. Always on point. Very much so. But, but here's the deal. There's something here, and I see the empress that's here. The empress is about pregnancy. And I think your person um, wanted a child. But I don't think you wanted a child. I'm going to be very honest. I think they wanted a child. And I don't think you wanted a child. But yet, you tried. <laughs> I think you tried to be with them. But you didn't, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know. They wanted a child. But I don't think that you wanted this child or, or, you wanted to be married to them because here's the king of wands here and the king of wands is all about marriage for me it's about action it's about someone that wants to be married you before that i think this was just one of the conditions that they gave you before they would marry you I, and that's what i see I, I think that this person is everything it's always one thing that messes everything up and the one thing that messed it up is the fact that they wanted a child they want a child, but you weren't ready to have a child yet. You wanted to be married and stable and all of the above before you thought about bringing a child into this world. But they want a child and they want the child as soon as they get married. And I don't think you're ready for that. You're just not ready for that. You wanted to continue living and continue to grow and get to know each other. So much so that you were very adamant about not having this child. And when a person really wants a child, they want that child. And, and it's something that's calling them in their body saying, I want this child, but you were not ready. Here's the king of wands that's in the middle of the reading. This is all about being married to someone. Being, uh, being wifey, husband, whatever. This is about being married to someone. Now here's a ten of swords here. Here's a ten of swords, which means this is an ending. This is an ending. Um, this relationship ended. All the goodness. And, you know, I would say it's a little thing, but it's not a little thing. When it comes to having children and how you have children, I don't even think you had decided yet you were ready to have children. That's important. 
and I understand. I respect you. That's important. So you ended this relationship. Ended ten of swords. It's, it's not a good ending either. It's a you know if you see this queen on the on the floor here, she's getting stabbed in the back, and that's how you felt. That's how you felt because you wanted to be married and ready, and they are ready to have a child immediately. Here's a six of swords here too, because you're moving on. You're moving on because this is not what you want. And I think you did. I think you're honorable to do this, to move on, because let them have their happiness, because you just don't want this. And you won't be, if you're not prepared, and if you don't want this, then you can't fake it, especially when it comes to a child. So if this is your read, please sit back and relax. Let me clarify the reading for you, because I want to see what exactly the spirit guides want you to know. What do the spirit guides want you to know? I see the sun card that's here. The sun card is here. Um, and show me, just sit back and relax. I'm going to clarify the reading for you. Show me, spirit guys, why is the sun card here for my Pisces? Show me why the sun card is here for Pisces. Page of Pentacles. This was a faithful person. This was a faithful relationship. Very faithful. A very faithful relationship. Page of Pentacles is very, very patient. Very patient, um, faithful, and loyal to each other. Very much so. And that's what really turned you on too because that's hard to get sometimes. Not sometimes, a lot of times. But you knew they were faithful. So let's see why this Empress card is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Empress card here? Oh, I see the Eight of Wands. Yeah, you're having conversations with them. Eight of Wands is all about uh, having conversations, spirited conversations. You're going back and forth about this child, having this child. You're going back and forth because your person wants to have a child. Um, I almost see them have already gone and in, in, um, uh, they may already be pregnant. I'm just going to say that they just may already be pregnant. But you're having spirited conversations because you're not ready. You're not ready. So let's see why this King of Wands is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the King of Wands in the middle of the reading? King of Wands represents um, someone that is a husband or the leader in the relationship. Let's see why this King of Wands is here. Oh, I have the lover's card. The lover's card. This can represent, the lover's card does represent a Gemini sun sign. But the lover's card is all about a decision. A decision. And the king of wands makes decisions. The king of wands makes decisions. And you've made a decision because I see you just like, you. it's like you can't believe that they would even not consider talking to you before having this or before. Or you, you don't understand why they don't understand your point of view. Why they can't wait. But you are in love with them. You are in love with them. This is someone that you are in love with. Very much so. Well, let's see why this Ten of Swords is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Uh-oh. Seven of Swords. So I see what happened here. Seven of Swords is betrayal. The Seven of Swords is betrayal. They betrayed you. And let me tell you, I don't think they betrayed you with... I'm going to say this. I do think they betrayed you with someone else. Because this Ten of Swords is like stabbed in the back. I think they wanted a child so badly. And I do think they're pregnant. I think they wanted a child so badly that they slept with a man. I think they slept with a man. Or I think that that's what they have done. And you feel betrayed. They don't want to be with this man. But they wanted a child. And that's what I think that, that has happened. Seven of Swords is betrayal. It's cheating. It's betrayal. So let's see why the Six of Swords is here. Show me spirit guides. Why is the Six of Swords here for my Pisces? Five of Swords. Five of Swords. Absolutely Five of Swords. But you're moving on. You're moving on. The Five of Swords is all about conflict. It's mental conflict, too, because you blame yourself somewhat. You blame yourself a little bit. This conflict is going on because you miss them. But you blame yourself sometimes because of the fact that you did, were not ready to have this child. And I think you blame yourself, but it's not your fault. If you're not ready, you're not ready. No one can make you be ready. And for what they did is a stab in the back. And it's a betrayal. Because I honestly, honestly think that they got with someone else. They got with someone, and I'll say that again, a man to get pregnant, and I think they are pregnant. I think they are pregnant. 
I really do. I think they're pregnant. Um, let's start at the beginning. Page of Pentacles. This was a loyal, faithful love, too. Here's this page. This sun is here. The sun is here. It's just the sun is all about rainbows and unicorns. You and this person were in love, having a great time, building a life. <sighs> you were faithful and loyal to each other. It had just settled into a nice relationship. But here's the Empress card here. And this Empress card is about being pregnant. They wanted to have a child. You were not ready. There is conversations, uh, great debates going on about this child, having this child, going back and forth, um, having um, discourse, a lot of conversation about this. But here's the King of Wands. You wanted to be, first and foremost, uh, I think you assume the role in this relationship as the King of Wands, which is the person that makes the decisions because the lover's card is here. The lover's card is here. And when I see the lover's card here, that can represent a Gemini sun sign, but it also is about making a decision. And the King of Wands, you King of Wands is my um wifey my wifey card. It is my wifey card. Um, or however you want to put it, my husband card, whatever, whoever assumes the role of the leader in the relationship, this King of Wands is here, and you have said that you would think about having a child, but you're not ready. But guess what they did? Here's the Ten of Swords is over because the Seven of Swords is betrayal because I believe they're already pregnant. I think they slept with someone and you didn't know. And I think you're heartbroken and hurt about this because you can't believe they did this to you. And here you are moving away from them because you need peace of mind because this has been mind-blowing to you. They have blown your mind with this for what they did to you. How they treated you with this. This is a, this is a, this is a betrayal to you. You have been stabbed in the back with this Ten of Swords. It's over. It's done because you've got to move on because every time you look at the child, you're going to look at them in a different way because you didn't, you didn't want this and you don't know who, you know, you got, you wanted to come together and form to form something, not just for them to go sleep with someone. You've not guys have not made that decision yet. They might've been one of the people that you had talked about, but you had not decided that yet. Here's the six of swords here too. Six of swords means you're moving on. And the five of swords means you blame yourself a little bit because of the fact that you did not, were not ready. And you knew they were ready. But you can't blame yourself. If you weren't ready for a child, you weren't ready for a child. Point blank. There's nothing you can do about that. So let's see. But you're moving on to peace of mind. Let me see what my oracles have to say. Well. They say that this is what they want to tell you. This is what they want to tell you. It says, please forgive me. I know I messed up. You missed them too. So maybe, you know, you need forgiveness is for, for you, not so much for them. But I don't think this is totally over. I just don't see this is totally over. I think you're going to, I just don't see it totally over. I think you're still in love with them. They're still in love with you. This relationship was too deep just to be over like that. And you've got, and, and I know they made a mistake and I know they messed up. And they know they messed up. But 